We're very pleased that in version 9.0 of TherapyAppointment.com, we have for the first time integrated credit card processing. This processing is done through Merchant Warehouse, a large credit card clearing house. You can sign up for an account and have it integrated in TherapyAppointment.com by going to the web address that I'm highlighting now, MerchantWarehouse.com slash TherapyAppointment. I've selected them for integration with TherapyAppointment.com because of their excellent customer service. You'll notice that all you'll have to do is fill out just a few short information items and they'll take over from there. They also have great rates. After we've established our account with Merchant Warehouse, we can begin entering credit card information on our patients. We need to do this only once for each new patient. Our patient Sigmund Freud has not used a credit card before, so now that it's time to chart on him, we'll have to enter the credit card information by clicking this button Enter CC. It's a 90806. He has very good insurance, so we're only going to charge 45 cents to his card. And we're going to key in the information. We'll verify that information on the next page and then enter the credit card number itself. We can print a receipt now for Dr. Freud by clicking this button and clicking the Print Receipt button. Now that we've entered this information, we'll see that that is verified on his uh, chart notes and we can go on to actually chart the note. You can hear the receipt printing in the background. Our patient, Nancy Nelson, has been in our office before and used a credit card last time, so the system remembers her information. When it comes time to chart, we simply select a CPT code, put in her 75 cent copay, again very good insurance, and now we select charge using old card information. We'll put in some rather primitive notes and chart this. As you can see, by clicking chart this, we have both recorded the chart notes and approved a charge and posted it to her credit card account. Once again, we can print a receipt uh, for her to sign or we can simply continue on to the next patient. So now with TherapyAppointment.com version 9.0 you are able to both charge a credit card and charge an insurance company by the simple act of charting. What if we decide that we processed a credit card charge in error? Let's illustrate this with the charge we just did on Nancy Nelson. If we display her and then click on the posting screen, we'll see the date of the charge that was made in error. We click on this and scroll down to a button. As we see, this was indeed the 75 cent charge that we did for her. 
all we need to do is click this button and we can refund that 75 cents to her account. Once again, we can print a receipt for Nancy to have to show that we have refunded that money. We can also post an additional charge to Nancy's account. As you see at the bottom, there's a new button, Charge Card Payment. Clicking on that button allows us to enter any amount and charge it with the stored information or, as you can see, charge it by swiping or keying in information about a new card. As you can see from this illustration, if a charge is declined, you get a vivid report of that declination.